Roberts. This is the one and only, the ex or current wife of Modine, Mona Moon. Say mo hi, Mona. Hey, everyone. How are you guys doing? <laughs> All right. And, um, oh, it looks like uh, we had another guest, but that guest dropped out because I guess um, he didn't want to. <laughs> He didn't want to be here. <laughs> That's all good. That's all good. Okay. Well, Mona, I don't want to really keep you long. Maybe, hopefully, we'll do another one of these uh, another time when it's a better time for you. Because I know there's a big time difference where you are. But my uh, my main questions were about, uh, obviously, you are, I mean, you, know, you can tell everyone, you are Modine's ex or current wife, actually. You're legally still his wife. Am I right? Yes, right. So you guys have never divorced. You are legally still married as far as Iraqi law is concerned. Yes, we, I'm okay. still his wife by law only. So so when Modine says to people he is single or he he's looking for a wife, technically he's not single. No, he's not. He's All lying. right. Okay. So... Uh, uh, what do you think about that? I mean, are you are you upset? Is this bothering you in any way? Is he what? Uh, him saying that he's single to women out in the, you know over here in England. Does that bother you? No. Okay, so you you're okay with him just uh, finding another another woman? Before that, he should give me my right. Like he should give me my divorce paper, and he can move on. Okay, okay, I'm so you're more than happy for him here. to divorce you. Yeah. Nice. So, okay, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. So we've established Modine is... I mean, but the thing is, don't you think he's just a big liar, though, when he tells people that he's single because he's, you know, he's still married? Yeah, and denying his own son. And and his son. And, of course, yes, he has a son as well with you. But he's, um, I mean... He doesn't have much of a relationship with his son, does he? I don't know. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's a bit, bit, bit. I mean, would you wish that he was a bit more involved, at least with his son? I tried to put to make him involved more, but he just don't care. All he care about is me. Yeah. Like when he tried to care about his son, he used him to reach me. I see. I see. So he's he's not really interested in. Having a relationship nah. with his son, he's more interested in trying to get back at you. Yeah. I'm with you. Now, there, you know, could you explain to us why, you know, you don't want to be with him anymore? What happened, transpired between you and him? Uh, because I don't, want to, I don't want to put words in your mouth. I don't want to, you know, to generate uh, anything that could be considered like me uh, giving you what, you know, saying the things you want to say. What happened between yeah. you and him that you want to divorce him? What well, did not happen? Like every worst thing you can imagine that that comes in your head, like beating me up, humiliating me in front of people, wow. uh, like even beating me in the street, not just in front of the kid. Like every oh, wow. single bad thing, yeah. When when you say beat, uh, how how would you describe? I know this might be difficult for you, so I appreciate anything you don't want to answer. Just say, look, I don't want to talk like about that. Like beating me, punching me, kicking me, pulling me from my hair, smashing my head on the wall. Wow, wow. Okay, so so he was like hitting you quite quite severely. Now, is it true that uh, he broke your like cheekbone and you had to have plastic surgery on your face, nose? Yes. Is that is that yes. true? I still have it. I still have it. Like, it's always going to stay the scar of the punch. Okay, okay. So you still have the scarring, but you did have to have some plastic surgery on your face? Just one. Just one. Uh, was it on your cheek, nose? This one. Oh, your cheek. Your cheek. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's the, uh, eye one. socket, cheekbone area. You can, see, you can see the scar right here. It's from, it's from the punch. He yes, had the scar yeah, on you were his saying. hand right here punch I see. on his hand now is it uh, i mean is he lying when he says it was your brothers because he modine claims that it was your brother that did this no, no. my brothers beat me up true but he's the one who smashed my face okay now 
when you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to go on about this part. Although it is quite despicable that Modine would do such a thing to a woman. Now, for me, I think that exposing the kind of things Modine did for you to you is to simply expose his behaviour because he behaves quite aggressively towards women in in the in the UK. You know, towards uh, women in in the park. He is famous for throwing water on Sophia Lewis. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and he's quite aggressive. You know, generally, and we in the UK obviously we want to protect our women and we want to protect ladies, and so we want to highlight men like him so that women don't sort of go with him basically yeah and that's the main reason why we're we're sort of scared of you know these kind of individuals because we think they're going to harm women because they don't have any respect for women you know they don't they don't care they don't they don't care about beating them up but uh, the other side of things that i want to discuss is he's um and again tell me when when this is uncomfortable and you want to stop and now we will move to another subject but was his sexual habits did did you find that he was you know would you say that he is inclined towards homosexuality he was viagra he likes dildos he likes he dildos was... yeah he likes dildos now he bought three for himself or for you he said he wants to use it on me i said no he took it and then he returned it like three four months after Oh, as in he, he, said he, he returned it. it to the shop? He said he used it once or twice. He used it for himself once or twice? Yeah. Okay, okay. Were well, these large dildos, small? You know, can you describe the size? <laughs> Did they vibrate <laughs> or were they just plastic? Plastic big dildos. Plastic big dildos, ladies and gentlemen. Plastic big dildos. Uh, can you describe the color? <laughs> it's beige. What? Sorry? Beige. Beige? Yeah. Sort of creamy brown? Yes. Okay. So he didn't have a thing about large, big, black dildos then. It was just, just no. a creamy beige. Were they thick, thin? Thick. No. You know what he used to call it? What he used to say, he say, if I ever get you to London, you're going to leave me for a big black dick. Oh, you are? That's what he used to say. All right. But Yeah, but... Are there that many big black men in in Iraq? Like, no. So, your chat, you, you know, your options were small. But would he leave you for a big black dick? <laughs> <laughs> it's really the question that we're all wondering. <laughs> no, he already left me for a big black booty. You, sorry, he did one. He left me for a big black booty. Ah, he always so he... got black porn. Oh, he went for a big black woman. Yes, a prostitute. A prostitute. In so... Piccadilly. I'm oh, sorry, go. Prostitute in Piccadilly. Oh, he picked up a black prostitute in Piccadilly. Okay. Um, does he go often with prostitutes? Yes, London the whole time. Okay. Okay. The the. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, just guessing, really. I mean, these are all alleged, by the way, because we don't actually have Modine here to, uh, to defend himself. So I will preface that these are all uh, uh, Mona's testimony. We don't have, you know, hundred percent evidence of everything, and also Modine. By the way, Modine is uh, welcome to, um, to, to come back and and, and actually uh, defend himself. If he so wishes, uh, the invitation is always open to come on the Banksy Show. Ho Dean will deny everything, trust me. Sorry? I said Ho Dean will deny everything. You know Ho Dean! <laughs> yes, of course, he will deny it. But generally, we it's, it's, it's always fair to give the person an option to defend themselves. But... Uh, you, you are basically confirming that he likes prostitutes and fairly medium to large size beige dildos. So yeah. those, are, those are the things that we, we're just trying to confirm uh, that, that, that happened. S did he, like, ask you at any time to, like, put a finger in his ass or anything like that? Yeah. Yes. He did that quite often? To lick his ass to you. To lick his ass? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Was it 
Did he generally shower well before or 